Hi everyone, this is Miss Nardone. I am the technology teacher for the Swift Label Complex grades two and three. I wanted to share with you today how to log into your child's Google account so that way you can get into their Google Classrooms. The first thing I'm gonna show is your teacher should send home their Google password and their login, okay? And you should get that at home because I've been working with the kids in school on that for my second and third graders. But if you're in the younger grades, you might not have done that yet in class. So I'm going to show you how to find that information. Everybody has a parent portal. So right here on our front page of our website is a parent portal. So if you go in and you log in to Campus Parent into the parent portal, put your username and your password in that you have and log in. When you go in on this side, you're going to see more. You're going to come down the more. And over here, you're going to see Microsoft and Google logins. Now, I'm not going to click on that because that's my child's, my children's personal information. But once you click on this, you'll be able to see your child's lunch number or their ID number. You'll be able to see their Google login, the whole thing. And you'll be able to see their password. And the password's good for the Google login and their computer login when we do it at, at school. Okay. Now, if you have multiple children up here, I can't do it right now because it only says this, but up here, once you're in to the Google logins, it will say your child's name. So if you have multiple children, all you do is click on the down arrow and it'll show all your children. So that way you can get their Google logins. Okay. So now we're going to go to Google. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type Google in the address bar. Let me sign her out real quick. Okay. So once you get here, you're going to see up here in this corner, you're going to see sign in. So we're going to click sign in. Now, when we do this, you may have your own account in here, but you want to add your child's account because if you have your own personal account, you're not going to be able to get into your child's Google Classroom. It has to be with their account. So you can add a user or use another user, whatever comes up on your screen. So I'm going to click on hers right now. So when you do this, you're going to type in. But erase that. That's mine. So we're going to type in our last name, first letter of our first name, the last three numbers of their lunch number or ID number at eht.k12.nj.us. It has to be the whole thing. Then we click next. Okay. For our grade level, the passwords are all the same. So they are the first letter of the child's first name, the first letter of your last name, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you have a hyphenated name, it usually goes with the first name. So if I had Amy Smith Nardone, then it would be A-S. So it wouldn't be A-N. So whatever name comes first, if you have a hyphenated name, that's what you're going to use. But again, that's all going to be in your Infinite Campus and your passwords. And again, the teacher should send that home and the kids have been practicing, so they should know. Then we're going to click next to log in. Let me do this. Okay. So once we're in here, we're going to go to our Google Classrooms. In the second and third grades, I have already had the kids add their classrooms um, if they weren't absent. But when you go right here, here is either the picture that your child put last year or the first letter of their first name. And next to here, we call this the waffle. The kids love calling it the waffle because it's easy to remember. So when we click on the waffle, we click on classroom, okay? When you click on classroom, I'm going to go into mine. Sign in. When you click on classroom, you're going to see your child's classes. Now, you might see their last year's classes too. If you see their last year's classes, you can always um, unenroll from them. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go click here and I'm going to find classroom right here. OK, 
Okay. Now, once I click on classroom, I'm going to see, whew, I got a lot of them. I'm going to see all the classes that my child's in. If you have a blue join button right here, then you're going to click on join. But most of the kids have already done that. Most of the kids, um, well, my third graders have added my class. You will get that later from the special area teachers to add codes. And that's really easy to do, but we're not, you know, we're not going to do that right now. But adding codes is as easy as clicking right here and joining a class and putting the code in. It's that easy. So if we start giving you codes, especially for like my classroom, the code, I will send that code and say, here's my code, join my class. You'll just type it in, hit join, and you're in. The meetings will go up here. You will see the meet links up in here. 